In this video, I'd like to continue talking about using similar triangles by looking at a slightly more challenging example. And for this problem, we're told that the line segment AC is parallel to the line segment RP in this diagram below, which notice is denoted by these double arrows in each of these lines. And for this problem, we need to find the perimeter of triangle ABC. And triangle ABC is this bigger triangle. And we can notice we have lengths for almost the entire way around. Since we're finding the perimeter, that's just the length around the outside of the shape. And the only measurement we don't know is this line segment PB. And if we want, we can call this some type of letter. Let's just call it X. And we'll be able to set up an equation to figure out what X is. Now, the way to approach this problem is to prove that this smaller triangle is similar to this bigger triangle here, triangle ABC. And once we prove that the two triangles are similar, then we can set up equations since we know that in similar triangles, the sides are proportional to each other. And to prove that these two are similar, we just need to prove that they share three sets of equal angles. And we can start by noticing that they each share angle B here. And because these two lines are parallel to each other, we can use the properties of parallel lines to show that the other two angles in each of these triangles correspond to each other and are equal. Since notice that this angle right here, angle A, would be equal to the angle PRB right here, since these are corresponding angles. And in parallel lines, corresponding angles are equal. And we can also notice that this angle C right here, that this is angle equal to angle RPB right here, since again, in parallel lines, corresponding angles are equal. And with this, we've proven that these two triangles share three sets of equal angles. And we can write that triangle ABC is similar to triangle RBP. And you do want to be careful that you write this in the correct order, since the position of the letters denotes which angles or which sides correspond to each other in the two triangles, meaning that the side PB, this one here, corresponds to the side CB or BC in the bigger triangle, and so on for the rest of the angles and the sides. Now, once we've proven that the two triangles are similar, we can set up an equation that shows the proportionality between the side lengths. Or in other words, we know that since the two triangles are similar, if we start at the smaller triangle and multiply all of the side lengths by the same number, we will get a scaled version of that triangle. Namely, we will get this bigger triangle. And we can figure out what that proportionality constant is. We can figure out what we're multiplying by to go from the smaller triangle to the bigger triangle. Or we can set up an equation relating the ratios of the corresponding sides to each other. Since that ratio, if we look at, let's say, this side AC and compare it to RP, that will be equal to some proportionality constant when we take the big side and divide it by the smaller side or vice versa. And that ratio will be the same when we compare any of the corresponding sides. So if we compare side AB and divide it by side RB, so taking the big one and dividing it by the small one, that will be equal to that same proportionality constant. And since we have information for these bottom sides here, the side AB and RB, and we're trying to find this side length PB, and we know information about CP, we can set up ratios involving these corresponding sides and the two triangles, since we don't know what side length RP is at the moment. But if we wanted, we could figure that out 
at the end. And let's start by looking at the ratio of the bottom sides. We can take AB and divide it by RB. And this will be equal to our proportionality constant, which we can actually figure out since AB is really AR plus RB, so 14 plus 7, which is 21, and we divide it by RB, which is 7, and this is equal to 3, meaning that starting with the smaller triangle, we can multiply all of the side lengths by 3 to get the bigger triangle. But we can also set this equal to the ratio of these top sides right here, or the sides on the right, and this is equal to the ratio of CB, or we can say BC, divided by the ratio of PB. And plugging in our known information, we can get an equation involving X, which we can solve for. We know AB over RB is 21 over 7. And CB, we need to be careful here, since this is CP plus PB. And CB is 10, and we've called this segment here X. So the total length of C to B is really 10 plus X. And we'll divide that by PB, which is X. And now we have an equation involving X, which we can solve for. And of course, we can simplify this and just rewrite this as 3. So we have that 3 is 10 plus X, all divided by X. And to solve for x, since it's in the denominator, let's multiply each side of the equation by x so that on the right-hand side, they cancel out since something divided by itself is always equal to 1. And on the left-hand side, we get 3x. On the right, we get 10 plus x. And now we just need to get x on the same side of the equation, which means we can subtract x on each side so that we get 2x is 10, and dividing everything by 2, we can find that x is 5. So this side length PB, we've just figured out, this is 5. And we can double check that this makes sense, because we know the proportionality constant is 3. To go from the smaller triangle to the bigger triangle, we multiply all of the side lengths by 3. And if we compare this side, which is 5, compared to its corresponding side on the big triangle, CB, we can see that we do indeed multiply by 3. Since CB is really 10 plus 5, which is 15, and 5 times 3 is 15. And if we want, we can go from the bigger triangle back to the smaller triangle by dividing by 3. And we can do that to find this missing length here, which we don't need, but... We can do it very quickly since 18 divided by 3 is really just 6. So if we needed this, we could find this one as well. But in this problem, we need to find the perimeter of the bigger triangle, triangle ABC. And we can say that P, the perimeter, is 18 plus 10 plus 5, which is 15, plus 7 plus 14, which is 21. And if we add all of these together, we find that the perimeter of this bigger triangle is 54. 